Good evening and welcome to Master Talker Online Class. <clears throat> please, if today is your first day of watching our video or you have been watching without subscribing, please consider subscribing. We are looking at modular arithmetic. Modular arithmetic is simply the, the arithmetic of remainder. Okay? It's the arithmetic of remainder when a number is divided by a lower number. From our counting numbers, each of them has its set of remainders. Okay, that is called the residue. Okay. Generally, for any number n, the residue are from zero. The residues as in, that is the remainder is from zero, one, two, three, up to up to n minus one. Okay. Uh, for that is the, the the remainder of any number n. The residue residue or remainder. Of any number okay the residue or remainder of any number n is given by is given by this okay then let's uh, solve some example for us to, to know what do we mean by this okay what we mean by this is that the remainder of any number for example 5 is from 0 to 4 okay that 5 will not be included uh, the residue of any number 10 is from 0 to 9. Okay, that is what we mean by that. So let's take an example to illustrate what we are saying. Let's say copy. Copy and complete the multiplication. The multiplication table of mode modulo 5 on the set on the set of 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, once it is mode 5, it means that the element should be from 0 to, to what? To 4. The element should be from 0 to 4. Okay? So, but they gave us from 1 to 4, which is still correct. So, they say that we have uh, an operation star you can watch my video on a, a binary operation, okay? It will help you to understand this topic very well, okay? I'm having one, two, three, and four. Here I'm having one, two, three, and four, okay? Now we want to solve this by, they say that it is multiplication. So one times one is one. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 4 is 4, okay? In fact, I want to complete it by myself. Uh -huh. the, now, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 1 is 4. This one is okay. Now, 2 times 2 is 4, it's okay. 2 times 3 is 6, but we cannot write 6 because we are talking about mode 4. So what do you say? You say 6, mode 5, sorry. Five, uh, 6 divided by that 5, what do you have? 1 remainder, 1. So the answer is the remainder, which is what? 1, okay? Are you getting it now? So, uh, which other one? 2 times two times 4 is 8, but we cannot write 8. We say what? 8, 5 divided by 8, I have what? 1 remainder, 3. So I'm having what? 3 here. So 3 times 2, 6, which is 1 remainder, 1. You write 1. Two time, uh, 3 times 3, 9. So 9 will give you 5 divide. Uh, 1 remainder, 4. Okay, one remainder four. I'm writing the remainder four. Two times three, twelve. Twelve will give you twelve will give you five divide. Two remainder two. So I'm writing two here. Okay. Then the next one, four times two is eight. And eight gave us one remainder three. I'm having three here. Four times three is twelve. Twelve gave us two remainder two. I'm having two here. Then four times four, sixteen. Sixteen will give us sixteen. Uh, 5 divided is 2 remainder what? Sorry, it's 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 remainder 1. So I'm taking 1 as my answer. As simple as that. Okay? So you see, uh, modular arithmetic is very, very simple. It's a simple mathematics. In fact, it's a mathematics of remainder. So let us do another example to help us um, get what we are saying perfectly. Okay? Another example said, 
the operation the operation star is defined is defined on is defined on the set t which is equal to 2 3 5 and 7 now if you look at this this thing can be mode from mode 8 and above i hope you know uh -huh. it's defined on this set by x operation y to be equal to x plus y plus x y in mode 8 in mode 8 then number one they say construct construct mode 8 table modulo 8 table okay for the operation star on the set x for for the operation triangle sorry on the set on the set t that is the first question then the second question said i i using using the table comma calculate i question said we should calculate two operating on five operating on seven okay i i if two operates on n, we are having that it is five operating on seven. So we need to find that n. We need to find that n. So very simple solution. The first thing we need to do is let us draw the table. The table looks like this. So I'm having that this is my triangle. I don't know why this thing rises up very fast. Okay. I'm having that this is my operation, and I'm having to. Three, five, and seven. So here I'm having the same two, three, five, and seven. Okay. Now they gave us the formula to use that when two operate on two, you have two plus two, four, plus two times two, four. So four plus four, eight. I'm having eight, but I cannot write eight since it is mod eight. So 8 mod 8 will give you 1 remainder 0. So I'm having that here is 0. Do you understand what I'm doing now? So the next one is what? 2 operating on 3. 2 operating on 3 means 2 operating on 3 means 2 plus 3 then plus 2 times 3. Okay? 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 2 times 3 is 6. This times this is 7. This plus this will give you um, 11 but i cannot write 11 i'll say 8 sorry 11 divided by that is i'm having one remainder is it four three one remainder three so here is three so the next one is two operating on five two operating on five two operating on five is what two plus five plus two times five okay two plus five will give you seven plus two times five ten i'm having 17 so if I if I say 17, 8 divided is 2 remainder 1. Okay? So I'm having the remainder is what? 1. Then 2 operate on 7. 2 operate on 7 is what? 2 plus 7 plus 2 times 7. Which will give you what? 2 plus 7 is 9 plus uh, 2 times 7 is 14. 9 plus 14 will give you, I think, 23. So 23, 23 divided by 8 you have um, 16 3 times 8 is 24 
So I'm having 16 will give me that is two remainder seven. Two remainder seven. So I'm having seven here. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Now the next one is um two operate on two. Is the same thing, uh, three operates on two is same thing as two operates on three, which is three. I got three. Okay. Now three op operates on three is giving me nine. That is sorry, it's not giving me nine. Three operates on three. In fact, let me do this one. Watch. Uh, three operates on two is same thing as three operates on two, which is it. Five operates on two is same thing as five operates on two, which is one. 7 operates on 2. It's 7 and 7 operates on 2, which is 7. So I've gotten this side. Okay? So let me now continue with the rest. So 3 operates on 3 is 3 operates on 3, which is what? 3 plus 3, then plus 3 times 3. Okay? 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9, which is giving me 7, 15. Right? 15. Then 8 into 15 is what? 1 remainder 7. So I'm having that here is 7. Okay? So the next one is um, um, the next one is um, 3 operates on 5. 3 operates on 5 is giving me 3 plus 5 plus 3 times 5, 15. So what do you have? Uh, 20, 23. I'm having 23 divided by 8, which will give me 2 remainder 7 again. So I'm having 7 here. Mm. Okay. The next one is 2 operates on 7. Uh, 3 operates on 7, which will give me 3 plus 7 plus 3 times 7 is 21. So I'm having 21, 28, 31. So I'm having 31, 8 into 31. I am having 24, which is 3. Uh, 31 minus 24 31 minus 24 11 minus this is uh, 9 Okay So I'm having 28, that is 4 uh -huh, 28, that is 4 uh, uh, Sorry, 32 is 4 What am I doing? Let me use my calculator, please That is 32 31 divided by 8 Look, I'm having 3 so, how do you get the remainder? Minus that 3, then times it by that 8. I'm having 7. So, I'm having that here is 7. Okay? So, the next one is... Um, did we do 3 operating on 2? 3 operating on 2. 3 operating on 2. Which is 3 plus 2 plus 6. Which will give you 9, 11. So 11. Uh, 8, 8 into 11 will give you 1 remainder 7. Okay, everywhere here is 7. So how did I get that 2 operates on 3 is still 3? 2 operates, 2 operates on 3 is what? 2 plus 3 and 2 times 3 is 6. So what do I have? Uh, 9, 11. How do I get 11 is 1 remainder 7. So here is 7. What am I doing? Are you sure I got the rest? But let me start afresh so that I will not make mistake again. So permit me to start afresh. But I got this one anyways. Here is 7, 7, 7, 7. So let me start afresh. 2 operating on 2. In fact, x operates on y, gave me x plus y and x, y, okay? So 2 operates on 2 is 2 plus 2, plus 2 times 2, 4. So everything is giving me uh, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 8. So I'm having 8, 8, 8, which is 1 remainder, 0. Okay, this is 0. So the next one is 2 operating on 3, which is what? 2 plus 3 plus 2 times 3, 6. This and this will give me 9. 9 plus this is 11. So 8, 7, 8, uh, 11, 8 divided is 1 remainder, 7. So here is 7. So the next one is 2 operating on 5. 2 operating on 5 will give me 2 plus 5 plus 2 times 5, 10. 15, 17. So 17, 8 divided. I'm going to have um, 
16 is 2, remainder 1. So here is 1. So the next one I'm having is a, uh, 2 operate on 7. 2 operate on 7. I'm going to have a, 2 operate on 7 give me 2 plus 7 plus 2 times 7, 14. 14 plus this is 21, 23. So I'm having 23. And the 8 into 23 will give me 23 divided by 8. I'm having 2 remainder 7. 2 remainder 7. Yes. So I'm having 7 here. Okay. So the next one we'll look at is um, 5. 5 operates on 2. He sent me as 5 operates on 2, which is 1. 7 operates on 2. He sent me as 7 operates on 2, which is 7. So, now let's now look into the, the, the other ones. If we look into the other one, we're having um, 5 operates on 3. 5 operates on 3. 5 operates on 3. He sent me as 3 operating on 5. Which I've not gotten, okay? 5 operates on 3. Is seven as three operating on five, which is seven. Okay. Which is seven. Seven operating on three. Is seven as seven operating on three, which is seven. Uh -uh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so the next one is um, 5 operating on 5, then 7 operating on 7. 5 operating on 5 is giving me, and that is 5 plus 5 plus 25, which will give me 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 25 is 35. So 35, 8 into 35, I have 8 divided by 35, 8, sorry, 35 divided by 8. I'm having 4 remainder minus that 4 times that 8. Remainder 3. I'm having remainder 3. Okay? So now 5 operating on 7 will give you 5 plus 7 plus 35. So that is 47. 47. So 47 divided by 8. I'm having 5 minus 5 times 8. Remainder 7. So I'm having 7 here. So uh, 7 operates on 5. It's 7 and 7 operates on 5, which is what? 7. Now 7 operates on 7. 7 operates on 7. Is 7 plus 7 plus 49. So that is 49 plus 14. I'm having 63. So 63. 8 divide is then still remainder 7. I know it's remainder 7. Okay? So divided by 8 minus 7 times 8. So I'm having remainder 7. So that is that. This is the table they say we should find. So using the table now, they say we should find that 2 operates on 5 operates on 7, which is 2 operates on 5 operates on 7. 5 operates on 7 gave me 7. So then 2 operates on that 7. To operate on that seven is still giving me seven, so the answer here is seven. I I. Five operates on two. They say that their own is one. I don't know how I'm getting my own answer. So they say that here is three, and here is one. So please, you can verify it. You can verify it. That here is three. Then here is one. Am I? 0317-3777 okay, that is for 3 1737 then 777 okay, so that is that so the next one the next one said that when 2 operates on N that is set as 5 operating on 7 so that is 2 operates on N is set as 5 operates on 7 5 on 7 is still 7 so now, what do you operate on something? When one, what would two operate on to give you seven? Two operate on only seven that will give you seven. So therefore, my n is still seven. 
my n is still 7. As simple as that. So this thing is not, it's not a difficult mathematics, but you just have to be very careful. Okay? It's not a difficult math, but you have to be very, very careful. So what do we do? The next question, uh, I can check my time. Okay? I still have 10 minutes more. So the next question said, um, Okay, we have another question that said an operation an operation star is defined on the set on the set X which is equal to 1, 3, 5 and 6 by m operates on n which is equal to m plus n plus 2 in mode 7 they say draw the table number 1 is draw the table then number 2 they say from the table using the table Using the table, let's answer the first question. We have to answer is that 3 operates on something to give me 3. Find that thing. Then the next thing is something operates on itself to give me 3 again. So let us find that. So solution. So we still have another table again. So I'm having star here. I'm having 1. 3, 5, and 6. 1, 3, 5, and 6. Okay. So when 1 operates on 1, is 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 1 plus 5, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 1 plus 6, 7. 7 plus 2, Nine. Huh? Let's check again. One plus one, two, two plus two, four. One plus three, four, four plus two, six. Okay? Very good. Then three plus one. One and three. Three plus one is four. Four plus two is six. Five plus one, six. Six plus two is eight. Then I'm having nine here. Okay, so let's go now. 3 and 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. Mm. I'm coming to... Uh, 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. 5 plus 3 is 7 as 5 plus 3, which is 10. Six plus three is equal as six plus three, which is eleven. So five plus five, five plus five, ten. Ten plus two is twelve. Five plus six is eleven. Eleven plus two is thirteen. So five plus six, then plus five plus six, thirteen. So six plus six is twelve. Twelve plus two is fourteen. So this is how we're supposed to be, but they say it's in mode seven. So we cannot get anything that is higher than mode 7. So this 8, we convert it 8. 7 divided is 1 remainder 1. So here is 1. 9 is 9, 7. 1 remainder 2. So here is 2. Okay? So which means here is still 1 and 2 again. 1 and 2. So which other one again? 8. 8 give us 1. 10. 10 will give us 3. 
11, 11 will give us 4, 10, 10 will give us 3, 12, 12 will give us 11, 5, 13, 13 will give us 6, 14 will give us 0, 13 will give us 6, 11 will give us 5, Hmm? Is 11 giving us 5? 11 will give us 4. 11 is supposed to give us 4. Okay, it's correct. So here yeah, it's giving us 4. 11 is giving us 4. Okay, so that is that. We have gotten there. So the next, first question said 3 operates on something to have 3. 3 operates on something to have 3. So 3 operates on 5 to have 3. So therefore n here is 5. Now the second one said something operates on something to give you 3. So anything that operates on itself to give you 3. 1 operates on 1 did not give us 3. 3 operates on 3 did not give us 3. 5 operates on 5 did not give us 3. 6 operates on 6 did not give us 3. So <clears throat> it doesn't work. Bro. It doesn't work. So N does not exist. N does not exist. Okay? As simple as that. So the next one. Hmm. So let's solve one more question. And then we are good to go. Okay, they gave us a table like this. Say plus. 0 to 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They give us another one. They say that this one is times. They give us again zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Zero. One. Three, four, and five, and they say that here is zero, one, three, four, five, zero, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, zero. One, two, three, four, five, zero. Two, three, four, a zero. Two, three, four, a zero, one. 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then this one is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is 0. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I have zero here. Five. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. 
two four zero B four zero three zero three zero three zero four two zero four two zero five four three two one okay so I have you they say using using the addition using the addition this and multiplication and multiplication this table of mode 6 okay 1 find find n i i find b i i i evaluate evaluate 4 plus 3 times 2 iv find m if 5 5 plus into m times yeah? into m times 3 is given to okay it's a very simple simple thing to find in fact to get n to get n if you look at the way this one is moving where is that n in here sorry find a not n find a to get a look at the way it's moving this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 so automatically my a is 5 don't need to do anything uh -huh. but for b b look at the way this one is going Two four zero. So here is two four zero. So B is two. Without solving anything. Very very simple. Uh -huh. Then the next one say we should solve this thing. So we have four plus first of all three operating on two. So four plus three operating on two. Three operating on two gave us zero. So four operating on zero. Four operating on zero. Yeah, it's giving me four. So the answer is still four. Okay. So the last but not the least one here. Let me clean. Okay, let me solve it here. They say five plus m times three is giving me two. Then we should find m. Okay. First of all, five plus something here will give me two. So five plus what will give me two? Five plus look at you here. So five plus three is giving me two. So five plus three is giving me two. Which means everything here is equal to this. So M operates on 3. is giving me this 3 here. So what do you operate on 3 to give you 3? For multiplication. For this side, 3 operates on something. In fact, 3 operates on 1 is giving me 3. And 3 operates on 3 is still giving me 3. 3 operates on 5 is still giving me 3. So therefore, my M is equal to 1, 3, and 5. 1, 3, and 5. Okay, I think we are good to go. So let me check my time. Uh, all right. So thank you very much for watching. I think uh, we have to give you an assignment. Let's give you an assignment that you will drop the answer on the comment section. So the assignment is. Um, Say copy and complete. Copy 
and complete copy and complete the following multiplication multiplication mo, multiplication mode 11 the following multiplication in mode 11 let's copy and complete it One, five, nine, and ten. One, five, nine, and ten. So I'm having a here is one, five, nine, and ten. Here is five, nine, and ten. So complete the rest. Then from the table, from the table. Evaluate number one, evaluate, evaluate nine star five star ten star ten. So that's your first evaluation. Drop the answer on the comment section. Then number two, number two said that when ten operates on something called M. That I'm getting to. So let me find that M. Number three said when something operates on itself, that I'm getting four, then we should find that thing. So thank you very much for watching. I'll be waiting for your answer on the comment section. God bless you.